Do you want to know how to use Metricool for e-commerce? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to use Metricool in this Metricool tutorial. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that take 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you a Metricool demo for e-commerce, including how to link accounts on Metricool and answering the question, is Metricool affordable? Before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know what you've been using to schedule your social media posts. Leave a comment and let me know. Let's start with what platforms you can integrate with Metricool because this is a huge selling feature of Metricool. There are so many platforms and all the platforms that I talk about in my social media challenges are included. We have the big ones, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We also have TikTok, which is really nice. Most platforms do not have this anymore. LinkedIn, Google My Business, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook ads, Facebook groups, Google ads, and TikTok ads. Those are all of the ones you're going to be using for any of the social media challenges that I offer and it's going to give you the versatility you need to post everywhere with your brand. Now let's answer that all important question, is Metricool affordable? So I want to talk to you a little bit about the first two plan options. They do have a free plan that will give you one brand with one account. So what this means is you can have one account for all of the different platforms. LinkedIn is not included. Um, the shortcoming here is that you cannot have two things on Facebook. So if you've got a page and a group, you are not going to be able to have both of those with the free account. But you can have all of these different accounts with the free account. So you're actually going to be doing really well with that one if you have that as your option, your free option. On the other hand, on the pro account, which is $12 a month, you're going to be able to have five brands and five accounts, which means you can have both a Facebook page and a Facebook group in this situation, along with five accounts from the other platforms. The other thing that's worth pointing out, the difference between the free versus the $12 a month plan is the number of posts that you're allowed to have. So on the free plan, you're allowed to have 50 posts. On the $12 a month plan, you're allowed to have 2,000 posts. That is a huge difference. Um, the free account is really going to be for someone that is only posting on maybe one or two platforms. Uh, so if you're posting on more than one or two platforms, it's definitely worth it to get the pro account. And this is going to let you post on all your platforms and you won't have to worry about running out of posts. And then the final thing I want to talk about is your analysis of competitors. So for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can actually monitor your competitors and see how they're doing and see how you compare. And one of the things that's really nice about this is it allows you to see who's doing better than you so that you can go and see what they're doing and maybe apply some new things to your brand, get some ideas. And that is going to help your brand grow because one of the best ways to figure out what to do is to see what your competitors are succeeding in and then follow their suit. Um, so you can only have five competitors with the free and with the paid, you can have 100 competitors. So these are the biggest things I wanted to point out. Of course, auto publishing, messaging management, all of these things are available on either choice, but those big ones, the only having one Facebook account and if you've got a page and a group, you have to choose the post limit of 50 on the free, and only having the five competitors are the biggest reasons you're going to want to go for the pro account over the free account. But the free is definitely affordable and it is going to allow you to try Metricool and start really getting your social media going the way it needs to. How much is your time worth? Because if you're used to paying $12 a month, if that saved you an hour, would it be worth it? If it saved you more than an hour, would it be worth it? So yes, you can post to all the platforms, you can find free ways to post, and you can try and do it all manually. You can go to each different management system, each different social media scheduler, and schedule everything. But it's going to take you so much more time. I would posit that $12 a month is well worth it. It's going to allow you to schedule all your platforms in one place, and it's going to let you see all your analytics, your website, your social media, your ads, everything in one place that you don't have to look somewhere else. And this is a huge deal. You can also see all your Facebook and Instagram messages and comments and easily update your links for your social media platforms so that you are not having to do that all of the time. And then finally, with the accounts, you are going to be able to evaluate your hashtag usage, which is a huge, huge deal. So 
Yes, it is definitely affordable at $0 a month for the free account or $12 a month for the paid account. I would highly recommend looking into Metricool. If you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. The next thing we're going to talk about today is where to see your brands, add your brands, connect your accounts. All right, so let's go into actual Metricool. When you come into Metricool, you're going to land on the Evolution tab right here, and it's going to give you your stats. In order to add brands, you're going to either come into this upper right-hand corner, and you're going to click on Add Brand, or you can click on Connections to go and see everything associated with your brands, or you can scroll all the way down on this lower side and click on Brand Settings. Either of those are going to take you to the same place. So if I click on Brand Settings, it's going to take me into my Brand Settings or my Connections. And then right here is where you can see all the connections that are associated with your current brand. If you want to switch to a new brand or add a new brand, you're going to click up here and click on Add Brand or click on a different brand. So the way that my account is set up is I have all of my accounts for my scheduled biz right here. And then my Facebook group, which is called the MS Bizzers, is right here on a separate account. So if I click on this account, it will take me to that MS Bizzers account which is where I have my Facebook group. And you can see here I have ended up right here on my Facebook group. And then if I come up here and I want to add another brand because you are allowed up to five brands, you're just going to click on the add brand. And this is where you're going to connect all of your accounts. And it really just is as simple as clicking on connect, logging into wherever it is you're trying to connect to and saying, yes, I want you to be able to connect that. Um, and so you're going to go through, you're going to click on each of these connect accounts and get everything connected for your brand. While you're here, you can see up here it says it is empty brand. So if you click on name and picture, you can change the name of your brand to be whatever you want. And then when you pull in your social media accounts, the pictures from those accounts will show down here and you can select which picture you want to use. And then if you click on connections, it will take you back to your connections. So if I come up here and I go to my My Scheduled Biz, you can see if I click on name and picture, these are all of the different pictures that are from the brands that I have connected. And so I can choose any of these to be the icon that shows up here in the upper right corner. One final thing that you might need to know is if you click up here, you can go to account settings. This is where your billing, your time zone, all of that is going to be. And then here in the lower right hand corner, you can actually message and ask for help and most of the time they are actually online. See, it says support is online. So you should be able to get answers pretty quickly if you have any questions with Metricool. Now, before we jump into the rest of this lesson, please like this video. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today. Because in every single one of my videos, I give you a challenge at the end so you can start implementing what you have learned. All right, so let's talk a little bit about these different tabs at the top of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and go to our evolution tab. And as I mentioned before, our evolution tab is where we're going to see our accounts and all of our metrics. We will be going over this in another video series video in this series. So be sure to click the link for the playlist for the series. so You can see all the other videos where we talk about different things about Metricool. But suffice it to say, the evolution tab is where you're going to see all of your analytics and your data. The real time tab is where you're going to find your Twitter user management, your messages, and your trackers for your hashtags. And then of course it also shows a real time of your website. So if you go to tracker here, it will give you the opportunity to pay $10 for 24 hours of tracking a specific hashtag. And it will actually tell you everyone that has used that hashtag, everything that has been done with that hashtag in the last 24 hours. So that's what we're gonna do to do that. Again, it is an additional $10. It is not included as part of the base metrical. We also have the Twitter user management. So if you click on Twitter here in real time, you're going to actually be able to see your current followers and your current following. So if I scroll down, here's the followers and the following. And you can actually go in here and follow and unfollow. You can sort by who follows you or who doesn't. So if, for example, I wanted to see who I'm following and which of them do not follow me and possibly unfollow some of them, you can do that right here in the Twitter part of the real time. 
And then our final thing here in the real time tab is the messages. And this is where you're going to go to see your messages from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll be going over that in another video in this series. So be sure to click the link for the playlist to see all about that. The next tab is the planning tab. And in here is where you're going to find your calendar, which is where you're going to see your schedule for posting. And we will be going over the calendar and how to use it in the next video in this series. So be sure to click the link for the playlist for that. There is also a history tab, which actually shows you what has already posted. And that way you can go through and see what's posted. And there is an auto list. Now the auto list is a way for you to automate your posting so that it will use a um, specific number of posts over and over again so that you are constantly posting. So that is the auto list. And again, we're going to be going over this in another video in this series. So be sure to click the link for the playlist. The final tab that we're going to be talking about today is the smart link tab. And we will also be going over smart links in another video in this series. So be sure to click the link for the playlist and follow that playlist. All right. So just a quick reminder, today's question was, what are you currently using to schedule your social media posts? Leave a comment and let me know. Get the full Metricool tutorial by watching the Metricool tutorial playlist. Plus, be sure to grab the easiest social media organization system and schedule all your posts on all your platforms with one spreadsheet. The links for both of those are in the description. In the next video in this series, we will be discussing how to create a post using Metricool. And if you want to up your video content, be sure to watch my last YouTube series, How to Make Great Videos for Social Media Video Marketing Strategy. The link to the playlist is in the description. If you are ready to give Metricool a try, click the link in the description to sign up and try the free account right now. The challenge for today is to think about which social media platform you are currently using and why. Would you use more platforms if social media management was easier? Remember, more platforms means more exposure and more exposure means more traffic to your website and more traffic to your website means more sales. So with that in mind, get out a sheet of paper and write a pros and cons list for using a social media scheduler that connects with all the platforms that you could be using for your business. If you're really brave, I'd love to see your list. Consider sharing it right here on this video in the comments. Don't forget to live your dream every single day and I will see you in the next lesson.